Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of May reading. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. This was supposed to be done for the 15th to the 31st, but I went on vacation, so it's going to be the 18th through the 31st of May or whenever it resonates with you. The timing is fluid, the energy is fluid. This could have already happened, could be happening next month, this month, you know, you know how it is. Take what resonates and leave the leave what isn't. This will not resonate with every single person. I don't approve negative comments. Keep them to yourself. Thank you very much. Okay, Ten of Swords, reverse. This is a time of liberation. It's a time of freedom. You should be on cloud nine, okay? Liberation. Uh-oh. Sagittarius, all right. You could be dealing with a uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Uh, it, it appears that there's definitely some conflicts here. You may be undecisive about how to handle this situation. Maybe you're wanting to free yourself from this person. Stand up for yourself, but this person is kind of uh, hard to deal with. They're hard to reason with. Maybe they're even hard to love. I don't know. Um, it feels as though you have become enlightened and you may be wanting to end a contract with somebody because you're, you've got more life ahead of you than this, whatever it is. It's just like, whew, what the hell is this? It's like freedom from this person, you know, it's they're mirroring each other. It's like, I don't know what this is, but there's some sort of freedom. There's been some discontent and some boredom, not feeling happy, not feeling loved, not feeling heard. Um, and you guys, it feels like you've been taken advantage of. And you may feel like you've been taken advantage of by this person. But you're seeing the situation. Clearly, you are. I feel like you've been stalling, though. You've been stalling this change that has been waiting to happen for some reason. You've been sacrificing your time and your yourself needlessly for this person who's who's kind of been taking advantage of you I, that's what it looks like to me it looks like whoever you're dealing with oh my god this world card is like all it's every single reading so far but it's your outcome card but anyway i'm gonna make this as zoomed in before we go any further because sometimes I forget. So, um, anyhow, he's some girl. Somebody lacks gratitude. They lack gratitude. They lack self-love. They lack confidence. They lack um, abundance. You know, you may feel like you don't have enough money to. Or enough funds or enough to offer uh, what the hell you guys are somebody is feeling like I don't have enough to offer I'm not I'm I'm not good enough I'm not good enough somebody has made you feel that way somebody has made you feel down you have all the resources all the power you have all the power within you to reclaim your own happiness, your own gratefulness, your own abundance. You have the resources within you to do that. You do. All you have to do is take action. This is about the, the magician card, which is now the basis of your reading, is about oneness as above, so below. You know, it's about manifestation. It's about shedding your old ways to become someone new, to be successful, to bring success to your life. There's a divine connection here. You have a divine connection that is trying to nudge you away from a situation where you're being taken advantage of in some way or you've been reckless. You're, you're being called to find the resources, the strength, the wisdom, the the confidence the everything okay the resources are within you this everything you're being called to find whatever it is needed inside of you to start a new chapter in your life 
to bring success. These are both success cards. There's an opportunity for success here, but it's your thoughts truly do become things because this is a manifestation card. If you choose to look at things from the perspective of, oh, the world is out to get me. Everybody hates me. I'm never going to succeed. If you look at things like that, then that's how it will be. If you're not grateful for what you have, then you aren't going to get more. Somebody is not grateful for all that they have and they and they need to really open themselves up. And I'm not here to make friends, so I do apologize if you are offended by this, but I'm here to help you grow. And somebody is needing to look at things from a new perspective entirely, entirely. They're only hurting themselves with negative thinking as above, so below. Negative thinking will bring you negative. It will bring conflicts to your life. You need to let go of all of that. Whatever it is that has been making you unhappy and unfulfilled, you need to let it go. You need to free yourself from that. And you need to start feeling grateful. There will be no abundance coming your way until you flip this card over and show that you are worthy. If you don't feel worthy, that's a thought. Okay, that's a thought. You are worthy. And like I said, your thoughts become things. And that is the truth. And if you don't believe that, then you probably, I don't know why you're watching tarot readings. I'm sorry, but, you know, hey. Somebody is being called to take action to start a new journey, to start a new phase. So that they can bring success to them to their lives. Whatever you've been through in the past, it's time to release it. Whoever's taking advantage of you, release it. Let it go. Say goodbye. I'm not bringing you with me. I'm moving forward with a positive mind, positive thoughts. I see that you have success if you take action. Take action for success. It's in your hands. What else does Sagittarius need to know? All you have to do is restore that faith, huh? Somebody has to restore the faith and stop clinging to the past. Six of Cups reverse. Somebody's clinging to the past. When all they have to do is wake up. Stop letting fear and confusion hold them back. Start following your intuition instead of ignoring it. Love yourself. Put yourself first. Care for yourself. Nurture yourself. Do what's right for you. Master your emotions. There's a lack of discipline here. Somebody has lost their, their direction in life because they will not take action to change it. No action being taken. So, hey, it's all in your hands, right? It is. Somebody needs to stop clinging to the past, believe in themselves, listen to their inner guide, and follow their own path with their head held high. Seek guidance and listen to it. And I'm sorry about my tone. My tone goes with the readings. I love you guys. You know I do. If you've watched my readings for months. Somebody needs to hear this. I'm not going to change my tone because I'd be fake. I'm going to continue to be me. And you, I'm represented by this Hierophant card. I am going to be me whether you like me or not. And that's how you need to be. That's why this card is here. I believe in myself. I follow my own path with conviction. And that's what you are being called to do. I don't care what the naysayers say. I know what's right for me. Right here. I know what's right for me. And so don't you. So Sagittarius, the end of May is about letting go of the past. And letting go of the emptiness inside that you feel regarding the world is out to get me. The world is not out to get you. The only person that can bring success to your life is you. 
but you have to take action. And this is a this is the end of May is about you listening to your inner guide, believing in yourself, following your in your own path, following your own path to to use your power to find your power. To change your reality, because the moon card reverse is about reality. Only you can change your reality. So I feel like the end of this month is about you finding the power to change your reality. Your thoughts become things, and that is what the end of the month is about. Be careful what you think. Think positive. And if you say you can't do it, then you haven't learned your lesson yet, and you aren't ready for this. You aren't ready for any new beginning. If you're not. Somebody is a victim. I'm a victim. This is victim mentality. No shit. And if you be the victim, then you will be the victim. Do you know what I'm saying? It's about believing in yourself, following your own path, and having faith That you know what is best for you. And going down the road that makes you happy. No matter what anybody else thinks or says or does. Let go of the past. You're not a victim. You have the power to change. To accept reality. To stand up for yourself. And look at things from a new perspective. You have the power to do that at any time. So the end of this month is about doing that. Changing your thoughts. And if you do, I promise you that your life will change very quickly. Oh, look at that. Amazing, right? It's true. It's, they do this for me all the time. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. <laughs> you have a divine connection. Use it wisely. Use it to your advantage. You do. Trust in them. Ask them for guidance and believe that you will get it and your life will change. Trust me. Please. Talk to you later.